skip counting, and odd and even numbers. We use skip counting to help us count large groups of objects quicker. If we needed to count a bucket full of marbles, we can put them in groups of five. We would skip count the groups by five instead of counting them one by one. There are twenty-five marbles in the bucket. Five red ones, five blue ones, five green ones, five yellow, and five purple. So if we count by fives, we can figure out the total. Count with me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five marbles in total. A one hundreds chart will show visual and number patterns to help with skip counting. This is a one hundreds chart for skip counting by tens. Every tenth number is counted. The ones place in this chart is always going to be zero. The tens place always goes up by one. Let's try counting by tens. Now here is a list of numbers. Two of these numbers are missing, and we are going to try to figure out which ones. I'm going to start counting, and you can count along with me. Ten, twenty. We've hit a blank. What number do you think goes in this blank? That's right, thirty. Let's continue counting. Forty, fifty. Here is another blank. What number do you think goes in this blank? That's right, sixty. Now let's count the whole list together. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and sixty. That's right. When we count by tens, we skip ten from the previous number. So, for example, there are ten numbers between ten and twenty. Count along with your fingers as I start at eleven and count to twenty. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You should have ten fingers up right now. We do this to show you that there are ten numbers between ten and twenty, between twenty and thirty, between thirty and forty, and so on. Once you know this, you can count by tens. Can you keep counting by tens? This is a one hundreds chart for skip counting by five. Every fifth number is counted. The ones place in this chart shows a pattern of five and zero. Let's try counting by fives. As we did in the previous example, I'm going to give you a list of numbers and I'm going to skip count by five. There will be some numbers missing, and you can help me find them. Okay, let's begin. Five, ten. We've hit a blank. What number do you think goes in this blank? That's right, fifteen. So let's continue. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty. We've hit another blank. What number do you think goes in this blank? That's right, thirty-five. Now let's keep going. Forty, forty-five. Great. Now we can count the whole list together. Count with me: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. Great job! When we count by fives, we skip five from the previous number. There are five numbers between five and ten. Count along with your fingers as I start from six and count to ten. To show you which numbers we skip when we count by five, are you ready? Okay, let's go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You should have five fingers up. This shows you that there are five numbers between five and ten. Now you know how to skip count by fives. Let's look at another one hundreds chart that will help us skip count by twos. We will skip count every other number. Notice the visual pattern of every other number being counted. Also, the ones place repeats two, four, six, eight, and zero. Let's try counting by twos. Here is another list, and I'm going to count while you help me fill it in. Ready? Okay, let's begin. Two, four, six. 
Here's a blank. What do you think goes in the blank? Let's write eight. Let's continue. Ten, twelve. Here's another blank. What do you think goes in this blank? That's right, fourteen. Let's keep going. Sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Great. Now let's count all the way through from the beginning. Count with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Great job. When we count by twos, we count up two from the previous number. So we count two and skip three, count four and skip five, count six and skip seven, and so forth and so on. Can you keep counting by twos? Counting by twos can show a pattern of odd and even numbers. Even numbers can be broken into two equal groups. When we start with two and count by twos, we are using even numbers. Even numbers will always have a two, a four, a six, an eight, or a zero in the ones place. Is eight an even number? Yes, eight is an even number because it can be broken into two equal groups. Odd numbers cannot be broken into two equal groups. There will always be one left over. When counting by twos and starting with one, you will be using odd numbers. Odd numbers always have a one, a three, a five, a seven, or a nine in the ones place. Is seven an odd number? Yes, seven is an odd number because it cannot be broken into two equal groups. There would be one left over.